Hi folks, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 74 and this time it's all about X chains and they are very valuable if you want to find ways to eliminate little numbers. Have a read of this. X chains are made up of strong and weak links. All chains start and end with a strong link. One end of the chain will be true, that is correct number, and the other end will be false, that is an incorrect number. Chains can have any number of links, usually uh, odd numbers, three, five, seven, or nine, etc. Here in front of you is a, an example of a three link chain. Have a look at this. There are three types of chains which have only three links. One is a turbo fish and I've already covered a bit of that in uh, tutorial 68. The next one is called the two string kite and I'm, we're going to be talking about that today. And the other one is the famous skyscraper. Each of those all they need is to be able to spot the three links. So with that in mind, let's have a look at this. This is an example of a two-string kite. Two conjugate pairs which cross each other in a block. And a diagonal weak link joins the ends of the conjugate pairs in the same block. And with that in mind, have a look at what I've just put up there. We have the red lines are strong links and they actually cross each other in this block. Then they have a tail, we call it a tail, it's hard to imagine they call this a kite, but anyway, that's the tail of the kite. And it is a um, weak link. So there's three links, strong, weak, and strong. Now, let's take this four up in here. This four can see that four, this four can see that four. Now we've also covered previously that in a strong link one end will be true, one end will be false. Let me show you how this works. Let's say this is a real four. That will not be a real four. This will be a real four and that will not be a real four. But because this was a real four, that can't be a real four. Now let's take a look the other way around. These are what we call the end points, the, the ends of the, of the uh, three link picture, if you want to put it that way. If that was a real four, that can't be a four. But let me show you how it works with the fact that you've got strong, weak, strong. If that is a real four, this cannot be a real four. This can be a real four, but this cannot be a real four. So if that's a four, that can't be a four. If that's a four, that still can't be a four, so we can eliminate that. Here's another example. We have a kite that's in this direction, which is the tail in here, and here's the top of the kite, and here are the edge, edge of the kite, and the ends start here and finish here. So just a word, a word or two here. This is considered a weak link. Yet, it, if you look at it, it's a strong link. In our last exercise, we had other threes in here, and that makes it definitely a weak link. But we can make a strong link a weak link uh, in this whole game of strong and weak links, and you'll see this happening a lot more, and it's a great advantage. So, if this is true, that can't be a three, and if this is true, that can't be a three. So if this is true, true, uh, false, true, false, that means that they can't be there. If this is true, true, false, true, false, that can't be a three. And in both cases, it cannot be a three. Here's another one. Now in this one, we have a pretty small tail, very small tail with a very large uh, flying part. The side of the wings are here and here, and this is the top of the cart. Now in this case, um, once again, we have strong, 
weak and strong. Anyway, the key is to understand this, and I haven't explained it clearly yet. If this is true, this cannot be true. If that's true, that cannot be true. Now, if this is true, this six can go. But if this is true, this six can go. Whichever one is becomes a six in here, this means it can't be a six. Six, like I said, this is true, false, true, false. That means that that's a true, that's a false. Now, if we go, to go the other way, true, false, true, false. In this case, this six was the, 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 uh, the true one. And it, again, in both cases, whether that's a six or whether that's a six, this cannot be a six. One of them will be a six. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, in this case, we're using the small eight. In this case, it's an also a very unusual kite. You've got a funny looking tail here and the top of the kite is over there, uh, and the sides of the, the wings are actually in here. And basically, there's another way of looking at this. Take this eight. If that eight can see that eight's in the same row, if that eight can see this eight's in the same column, that cannot be an eight. But there's another way of looking at this. If this is an eight, that cannot be an eight. And if this is an 8, that cannot be an 8. Okay, so it's the way it works that way, so this is, could, be an, could be one way or the other. Remember that if this is an 8, this cannot be an 8. Now we're on to something where you get the whole puzzle, and I have to thank uh, the, the site called Hodoku uh, for this, because this is where I found this. Uh, and, and this is a, a two-string kite, using the digit five, little five. And here is the tail, uh, with the blue is, is the, uh, is the uh, weak link, and we have a five, a five, five, so that makes it a weak link. And the red lines, of course, are the strong links. And we always start with a strong link and finish with a strong link. And if it, basically, if this becomes a 5, that cannot be a 5. If this becomes a 5, that cannot be a 5. If this was a 5, that would be 5. Is not a 5. Not, is a 5. Is a 5. Not a 5. So that won't work. But this was a 5, so it can't work. Now, let's say this was a 5. That was 5. Not a 5. 5. Not a 5. So that one would work. So whatever happened, whether that was the five or that was the five, in both cases, this cannot be a five. Also, this five can see that five, and this five can see this five. So that's it in a nutshell. Let's have another look at a, the full, a full puzzle. Okay? Here we go with our last one as an example of the two-string kite. Uh, in a real big puzzle, and I've got to say thanks to Sudoku.com for this puzzle. And it, it was, sometimes it's difficult to find them, but your key, the key is to look for two con 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 conjugate pairs. Here's one here on a four, there's one there on a four, and here's one on a four, and they're up to that four. So we've got the two fundamentals because they join up and cross each other in this block and in this block we can have a, a weak link because there's more than four two, more than two fours there so we've got the criteria needed to have a kite here again the tail is really small in this one we have a pretty big area of the kite um, bounded by this area here this is the top of the kite and it's the top of the kite that we are more interested in now, the basic way it works, if this is a 4, this cannot be a 4. If this is a 4, this cannot be a 4. If we, this 4 can see that one, this 4 can see that one, but let's show me, show you, if this is a 4, that's not a 4, that is a 4, that's not a 4. So that 4 says you can have a 4 here, and I just rubbed it out, oh boy, um, accidentally. But I'll get rid of it completely in a minute. <laughs> okay, so 
when that was a four, this can't be a four. Let's say that this is a four, that can't be a four. If that's a four, that's not going to be a four. Look, uh, that's a four, that's not a four, that is a four, that's not a four. So it's either this one or this one, but whatever which one it is, this cannot be a four, and we can get rid of it, and that's all I'm going to have to share with you today. This is quite complicated. We're getting into more advanced stuff. I have one more tutorial to do on uh, these types of X chains, and it's uh, another look at the uh, skyscraper. So, stay safe, be kind, bye for now.